cash box. I don't know. So next room, got a nice red floor. Beautiful fireplace to deal with. And then that awesome drop ceiling we've been talking about. Here's some of that tile that was throughout the house. Get rid of all the rest of that. I'm gonna put some track lighting up there so we can light up all this cool memorabilia. Big Rider fan here. It's a small room, but we're gonna do the trim on the door. Took the ceiling out today, but put the ceiling back in. It's a little different this time. Plan so far is to put the track light there and over there. And then I think we're just gonna put a nice uh, directional pot light over here over the fireplace. Amanda's grandma's 101 years old today. High five. In order for the ship lap to be attached properly, we're gonna have to add another two by four to the ends. Oh, they're talking so much. It's all right, I'll just have this in mm -hmm. I said surround sound speakers in the ceiling. Client said yes. So we're making some holes, run some wire. Extra one by four up there so that we have somewhere to attach the drywall pieces. <laughs> I'm gonna try to put the pot light on a dimmer switch all on its own. Oh shit, this we got to go into the middle of the wall too. More change of plans. This center pot light. I'm gonna put on a fader of its own. <laughs> There's my little nephew Branson. He's brand new. We're going to run power from that plug in up to this switch and then up to the wall. You ever seen fabric for wallpaper? It's like stuff they built junk in back in the day. 
Are you still cutting over there? Talking to TV land. Are you still cutting over there? Soon. You're talking to the camera. I have these on so I didn't know. Yeah? That looks a lot better. Now we can drywall around it. So final day of this week, I got the pots in for the track lighting. I don't have the junction box up for those yet. I have the junction box for the pot light, which will be aimable. So we can display whatever is above the fire mantle. We have all the speaker wires in the wall. So they're putting up our shitty holes. You can see all the copper wires all over the place. That's the speaker wires. Got them all labeled out. Drywall's all patched up, ready to go. First layer of mud is on. And for the fireplace, we've been talking about a dark gray for the actual fireplace. It's already been painted. You can see I tried sanding all that crap paint, paint off. And it's gone down to the brick, but it doesn't look very good either. So we're just gonna probably paint the whole thing dark gray. And then above the fireplace, just a little bit lighter of a gray. And then the rest of the walls are a light gray. Gives some nice contrast. And then hopefully the floor stays red when we sand it. I really love gray and red together. So it should look pretty sharp. And of course the walls will be covered in shelves and pictures and paraphernalia. So the gray color won't show through too much. I think the craziest part of this whole project is the ceiling looks like it's very uneven, but the, it seems the house is sunk around the fireplace. You can see where the chimney is and how much more space there is. And believe it or not, the ceiling is level. Definitely adding the speakers into the ceiling makes this project super cool. I mean, the track lighting and the pot light additions were really rad. The speakers in the ceiling, that's cool, man.